Hi everybody, I hope you're all well. Um, I hope the rain hasn't affected you too badly. Storm Babette. Oh, geez, it rained and rained. Never known anything like it. Yeah, well, I made CD bread in the Kasori um, a little while ago, not too long ago, but you know, and a lot of you said, especially those that have got the Ninja, said, please could you just make that in the Ninja and see how it turns out? Because obviously that one that I made in the Kasori was a, a cob style bread um, and it, it was lovely, absolutely lovely. So I actually have done exactly that. I've made another one. It's in here and I haven't opened it. So this has been overnight in the fridge and it's the exact same ingredients, the exact same method um, as, as how I made that bread before. And I will put a link at the end, uh, you know, at the end of the video and also in the description, I'll put a link to it because that's got all the method. I thought I don't want to, no need to bore you with the how to's of that bit. You don't, don't need to see that. So I've, I've had this out of the fridge. I've got this out in the morning. What's the time now? It's nearly lunchtime. I took this out at um, around 7, 8 a.m. Um, and didn't look at it. I, I, I was tempted, <laughs> I'll be honest. I really was, but I haven't had a look. Um, and I've let it kind of come up to room temperature because it's been, what, about four hours. So we're going to go and have a look now. I have done a few things. I've prepped, I've prepped one of these um, to make, because obviously it's not going to be a cob in, you know, the two drawers so one for the one drawer um and also i'm going to just sort of free form just put it on, on um one on a baking sheet and drop it in the crisper plates are going to be removed for both drawers because i just think the height it needs the height and the very likelihood is i will have to flip them at, at sort of for the last 10 20 minutes i'm, I'm not sure because this is this is exactly why you asked you know how will this work in the ninja and that's what I'm here for. Um, you tell me what to do and I'll do it. I'll have a slurp first. Do you like my new mugs? Microwave safe as well as dishwasher safe. Perfect, really is, I love it. I love this mug. Mm. Right, let's crack on. Come, let's come and have a look at this. Has, has it doubled in size? It's been in the fridge all, all night. I'm lifting it carefully because I don't want to sort of knock anything out. I'm, I'm going to do the next stage, knock it, knock it give it a punch, um, split it in half uh, and put it in its respective things and let it prove for another hour or so. So um, I'll probably put you up here just so you can see what it might look like or maybe not. I don't know. I'll, I'll work that one out when I turn you off. So yeah, let's, let's do the next stage. Okay, let's have a look. Now, like I said, I have not opened this. Ooh. I really like leaving it in the fridge overnight. I really do. Right, I'm gonna kind of get this out onto a onto the flower a flowered surface, and let's sort of give it a knock it back and shape it, etc., etc. See you in a bit. Okay, I'm just gonna use this to kind of get it out of the bowl. Let gravity do some of the work as well. <laughs> Good, that's great. Poor. Let's have another closer look. Well, I'm really happy with that. So let's um, lock it back and then I'm basically going to shape it. So I'm going to put you down because you can't do that one handed. Oops. Right. Oh, just going to really cut it in half at this point. So I do want them to be more of that kind of shape. So I'll just put one to the side. I'm just going to drop it in um, and leave it for an hour or so. This one I'm going to be putting directly on a baking sheet. So maybe more cob style. So just so you can see, I actually cut the corners off. So this was one big rectangle, but that those corners were kind of really sticking up 
above above the drawer, which means they were probably likely to burn. Right, so we're going to leave these for literally a couple of hours um, or until they've doubled in size. Um, obviously, I've prepped this one with flour, but this is fine as is on the paper. Uh, so one will be dropped in directly and one will be, this will be dropped in, um, in its tin. So we'll see how they both turn out. So I will see you in a couple of hours or really the next clip. <laughs> see you in a bit. Okay, I've decided to um, preheat the Dinger and actually drop this bread to let them prove inside the Ninja. So that one goes in and then, oh, I need my thing. It's in a quite a cold kitchen, so I really want them to prove in a warm space. And this is probably the best way to do it. So they're both, the both crisper trays are out. So just have a quick look. I'm just gonna leave that to sit in there and leave that to sit in there. I'm not gonna shut it fully because I'm gonna wanna open them. So yeah, I'm gonna leave that. It's only 20 minutes has just passed before I thought, ooh, do you know what? I wanna put them in a warm, place because with the with this where we're in october it's the sun is shining which means it's a bit colder especially in this kitchen because there's not a lot of we don't have a radiator in here and i don't even have the heating on anyway so that just doesn't even matter so yeah i'm warbling now see you in a bit so it's been about an hour and a half so let's have a look i'm opening it nice and carefully oh that's nice that that's great that's really brilliant it's got nice and big and then this one oh yes wow <laughs> that's that's great i'm going to put a dust and a flower on onto this one um it's got a kind of natural split so i'm going to leave it like that just going carefully i'm actually going to cut a, a split into this um with a sharp knife so i've just got to do it kind of quickly if i can Okay, I mean that didn't that didn't go as well as I'd like, but hey ho. You can see there's a hard kind of slightly hard crust, but yeah. Oops. But, uh, any excess flour will be sort of blown off by the fan, I reckon. I'll just put that back in fully. Let's get this one out. Oops, jeez. Slowly, slowly. Oh gosh. Doing it one hand is a little bit awkward, but that's fine, that's fine. Well, let's get that in. So we're gonna be putting them on uh, match, bake at 200, which is also, what's 200? 390 Fahrenheit for 25 minutes. And the 25 minutes, I'm gonna, this is a checking time. I might stop it just before it goes to the cool function that the the 451 does. So I'll probably stop it at 23. So maybe I'm going to put it at 20. So I'm going to stop it at 25. Okay, see you in a bit. Okay, there's still four minutes to go, but let's have a look. I haven't opened the drawer. Oh, wow. Got that. That's brilliant. I'm going to flip it 100%. So... I haven't opened this one yet either. Ooh, that's looking okay. Um, it's lower down than the other one. Um, <clears throat> hold up, hold up. It's just, yeah. I'm gonna flip. So I'm gonna put you down um, and flip these. Oh, it's too hot. Um, oh. oh yeah, well it definitely needed flipping. So I'm just gonna really carefully put it back into the, into there. Just don't wanna drop it. I'm gonna put it back in. And then Wow. I mean, it's quite dark at the top, but that's 
that's okay. Hefty. Well, I'm gonna just gonna need two hands to get this out uh, and put it basically back in without the tin. That, that that's gonna be the obvious thing. So I'm gonna need tea towels and carefully try to um hopefully it will be all right i don't know oh yeah yep yep oh oh well that's interesting i thought it might need it's hot i might i might um i'm gonna flip it and put it back in i need gloves i need um what do you call them? What do you call them? Oh, oven gloves, that's the one. Uh, yeah, it's very high. <laughs> and that's without a crisper plate in. So I am going to leave it for the end, you know, the four more minutes. It sort of flips, that's kind of leaning a little bit to the right, but that's okay. Leave that for the last few minutes. I'll be back in a tick. Okay, let's have a look. That, that's perfect, that really is. I, I mean, I hope it's okay inside. I don't know yet until I cut into it, but you know, it's looking all right. Oh, wow. <laughs> that's, um, that's brown. Right, let's get these onto the cooling rack um, and then I'm going to let them cool for a, a good hour before I cut into them. So I'm going to put you down. So even these uh, plate grabbers are brilliant for carrying loaves of bread. I mean, that's that's pretty well done under there, but at least I know it's cooked. Um, it's what's going on on the inside that really matters, isn't it? So let's just have a little look at them. Um, slightly well done. I mean, even 20 minutes, maybe. I don't know. I mean, the, all, the proof is in the cutting. So I'm going to let these completely cool down, really cool down, like I give it a couple of hours even. I'm not going to go near them while they're still warm um, because they may well collapse, you know, when you kind of cut into them. So I will see you in a bit. Okay, um, it, they're completely cooled down, at cold to touch, which is what I wanted because I don't want to cut them when they're still warm. Um, I did them for... I think it was 30 minutes and I flipped on the 25th minute you know upside down let's have a look on the underside I mean that that that's great I'm, I'm happy with that it could have been I could have maybe flipped at 20 minutes rather than 25 because look at that one I mean this is because it's taller I'm really happy with this because it's a cob and it was directly with the crisper plate was removed I mean you've just seen as was the crisper plate removed for for the tin one that, you know that's okay that's okay right we're gonna have a we're gonna cut some slices have a closer look and then come back for a taste test see you in a bit right let's cut some slices on the cob first see what it's like on the inside oh that's looking good just gonna cut a few these slices will get eaten i just want to really have a look on the inside Plus it makes for a nice, oh, this does look fantastic. Let's cut the other one. We're gonna be having a really closer look in a minute. I'm really liking this seed bread. I mean, honestly, look at that. It's just, it, it looks like wholemeal bread, but it, believe it or not, it's white bread. And it seems to have baked really well. Yeah, that, that, that's lovely. Wow. Right, that's really nice. I'm really happy with that. Let's have a closer look, like I said, and then I'll be back for a taste test. See you in a bit.
Oh, well, I'm really pleased with results. I, honestly, let's, I mean, look at that. For a lovely ninja cob. Not bad at all. Bit too much flour there, but you're gonna get that with, um, when I'm kind of, I didn't use the sieve. Maybe I should have, it would have been a sort of nicer, um, less like a, <laughs> you know, more of a fine, yeah. But really, really happy. I, lo I really love this seed bread. And let's go for the taste test. I mean, I've just got my favourite Daisy Marge from um, Lidl. It's like clover, but heart, a lot less. Well, how much is clover these days? I think it's £2.19 in Lidl. I don't know how much it is elsewhere. Around that amount. Um, but Daisy's £1.29. And it's very, very, very similar. Mmm. Mmm. Mm, smells lovely. It's a good loaf. It really is. I'm really pleased. It tastes really lovely. And it tastes like good bread. It's got a nice little... It does taste like brown bread, but without it being brown bread, I don't know. I mean, I've never actually made brown bread in my life. So that might be a new challenge, actually. That might be something to do on in the air fryer. I wouldn't mind giving that a go with whole, wholemeal bread. But this looks like really healthy bread. And the seeds, I mean, they're meant to be give, give you something. Maybe you have to eat an awful lot of the seeds to uh, give, give you whatever the vitamins or whatever the whatever it is that they have. I don't actually know on the top of my head. But, ooh. It's lovely. And I do, I'm really into this whole overnight in the fridge, letting it rise, letting it, putting it in the fridge, forget about it till the next day. And I'm going to try that with no need bread because I didn't, I haven't done that. And I reckon that will make a no need bread even better. So I'm definitely going to try it, try it with, on that one. Mm. Mm. I don't need to buy bread for a couple of days but this and this will make very good sandwiches because it's they're sturdy they're not they don't fall apart as a, as a slice for lunch times so yeah thanks everybody for watching i'm really pleased how these turned out in the ninja um so i'm really glad that a few of you asked me to test it the same recipe as the one i did in the in the kasori um, which I will put a link at the end of the description, the cost breakdowns at the end as well. Um, really, really glad, glad I tried because I took the crisper plates out as well, which is actually was something that I wasn't sure how that would turn out, but you, you do have to flip, but that's fine. And it worked well. It really did because of, internally there's no damage from having flipped it. You know, it looks like a perfect loaf. It really does. I'm very, very pleased. Thanks so much for watching and if you've watched to the end, I really appreciate you. <laughs> Thanks everybody, take care and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.